I am going to create a destruct drone match that is triggered by a trigger. So let me show you what we are going to do. So we have here the barrel and it explodes. We are also going to make uh, different weights uh, of the barrel depending if the barrel, how heavy the barrel is or object. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing in here I want to do is I want to convert this barrel into destructible mesh. So the way how you do that, you click on the uh, mesh, right click, and click create destructible mesh. And I'm going to rename this just for two, three, number three. So we want to double click this so we can tell how many parts or chunks or debris we want the barrel to break apart in. I'm holding L key down to see the barrel better. Go in here. Alright, so now the first thing we want to do is we want to break the mesh apart. So go down here to factor setting. Uh, it is set to 25. I'm going to set it to 500 to be a little more dramatic. Uh, you can set that wherever many cell count as you want. And the next thing in here, you will click this little button here, says fractal mesh, that will break it apart. Okay, for just thinking. Alright, so now you can see how it's going to look like when it breaks apart. Uh, the reason is explode or not. Alright, so up here on the top now, we want to enable impact damage. So when it takes damage, it break apart. So click that. Um, just now, also, I'm going to do, change this to damage spread. Uh, this is, you can go back and change this uh, later, depending how much spread you want of the barrel blowing up. So just, just change this for 10 for right now. And um, go down here to the bottom now. Um, I want to change the preview depth and also I want to add a particle system and a sound system. So I want to enable debris right here and change this uh, debris depth to one. And we hit save. So now you can see I have zero. Uh, the boom, nothing happens. But if we go to preview depth one, you can see it explodes in preview depth one. Okay, so the next thing in here, you can see it created a different factual effects from here. So right now, the particles, let's do, let's do fire. So when it blows up, uh, there will be a uh, fire uh, enabled there. Uh, you know, so, and next here, uh, we will add some sound to it. And I want to put explosion to that. Okay, and all these comes with the default setting of first person shooter, uh, including the content pack. Alright, uh, we are done in here and click. So, next thing we want to do is we want to put this barrel, destructive barrel, into the level. In here. And next thing in here, we want it to enable its um, simulate physics. So click this, and we want to start wake, just turn off start wake, so when we start it doesn't explode right away. So if we hit play, it should blow up. Alright, it's just very light. Let's try again here. Alright, it's just super light. Uh, we are going to change that right now. So in order to change the weight of this, uh, you don't do it in here. Um, you will want to add a physical material. So the way how you do that is you want to right click in here and go into physics and choose physics material. Choose physical material, hit select, name it. Okay, 
And now double click this uh, physical material material. And the way how you control the weight is right here, uh, the density. I'm going to change this to 50. And you can come back here and change it wherever you want, depending how heavy you want your object to be. So we hit save. So now we hit play. This should be. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. I forgot to put it in the uh, physical material override. So go out of here, drop it now. And now let's play it. Hit play. It is much more heavier. So let's go back in here, just show you. Let's do a tab. Hit save, should be lighter. All right, let's go back in here and change it to 50 for now. Um, hit save. Okay, so now we want to add the trigger to the level. All right, come over here and choose box trigger. I'm gonna make it. Uh, there we go. And now go into your blueprints, uh, select, and to get the trigger activated, or you want to use the game overlap. So add that, collisions, and add on after the game overlap. Okay, so now we want to tell the, uh, we want to add some kind of cinematic physics to, to the barrel since we turned it off in here. So we click here. Let's do a reference to the barrel here, drag this off, and then we want to set simulate oops, physics to destructible component. Alright, so I'm going to go in here and turn it on. So next thing we want to apply a radius damage field. So how we can simulate the physics. We're going to use a, a radius damage field. I'm going to select the barrel here, just drag off. I'm going to apply, here it is, apply radius damage to destructible component. Go up here, we want to connect. So Next thing we want to tell it where do we want it to happen or where uh, is the hurt origin. So we will track off here and type in get actor location. Okay, which actor? It is the barrel. Doing that. And we want to turn this radius damage on, and uh, we want to uh, base damage. Let's set it to five, and you can experiment. And then uh, how strong we want it, uh, depending on the physical material you added to it. Uh, let's add um, fifty thousand. You might have to adjust that, and then hit compile. And let's go in and test it. It should work. Yeah, I mean, it blows up pretty a lot here. So uh, let's go into a blueprints. Let's turn the make make it a thousand. Let's see how that is. And compile and play. It kind of just goes slowly, softly now. Um, maybe uh, let's do 20. Wait. And hit play. Okay, let's try 5,000. Hit play. Okay. 
and we had a little fire smoke in there. So that's how you make a destructible mesh being activated by a trigger.